from Legend League to farming to CWL. Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and in today's episode, Town Hall 16 bases with links for every possible purpose. That is right, we've got them right here. And these, by the way, are original, newly created, professionally created Town Hall 16 bases from none other than rhbasebuilding.com. And be sure to stick around for the last base in today's episode because it could win you insane real life Clash of Clans prizes. But right now, base number one, a Town Hall 16 trophy base. And again, these are bases that were custom created just for me, just for this episode. And bases like these are available on rhbasebuilding.com. And bases like these and more advanced, more professionally designed, more highly tested bases like these that are even more exclusive are available over there and they normally cost money. That's right. It is not a violation of Supercell's terms of service to sell base designs because it is considered a form of coaching. This is a farming base that you can use to protect that loot at Town Hall 16 or Here's another trophy base. Notice you can see, you can see the subtle and not so subtle differences of where the storages are, where the town halls are placed. And again, this is way over my head. I, I've tried to put together bases and they always seem to come out fundamentally flawed. They look pretty, but then when you put them into use, it just, it, it doesn't seem to work out as well. That's why we know these bases are tested and they are built by professionals that are way better at Clash than I am. Okay, here's another Death Ball style Town Hall 16 farming base. This is the idea that you're not in Legend League at Town Hall 16. You're out there doing tons of attacks every day and you want to do the best to protect that loot, especially I would imagine your Dark Elixir. So that's a good way to do it with a nice Town Hall 16 farming base. I, of course, am in Legend League, and of course, we've got CWL every month, so what better than a couple of beautiful anti-three-star CWL bases to throw off your opponents. Again, I've brought you guys base links in the past, but they've always been older or recycled or reused or untested, or maybe they were built by Galadon, which again, unless it's a Southern teaser or a use code Galadon base, I would suggest you never use, but here we have a beautiful CWL base. And I've got one more after this that you guys could check out as well. Test them out yourselves. Please tell me down in the comments if you actually try out some of these bases and how they work for you. I've been running a couple of them and let's just say I'm doing better in Legend League than I have in a long time. Yes, even better than with my own Southern teaser design that really only works right around 5,000 trophies. And no, it is not linked in today's episode. So if you need that link, you need to go find an older episode that talks about that specific base. But let's talk about Legend League. Here we have a pair of beautiful, newly designed Legend League bases. Again, it's that death ball that pro players like Itsu complain about and hate. This is going to help you preserve trophies, get quite a few one stars on a base like this from those amateur attackers that just can't seem to find their way. Why do I feel like I'm talking about myself? Uh, it, 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 it's true that just can't seem to find their way to the town hall. And finally, base number eight from rhbasebuilding.com, another death ball, legend league, kind of unusual wall layout base here that I'm sure is going to be confusing for the average player. And again, these are fresh, unused, newly designed bases that goes a long ways towards preserving your trophies at Legend League. If you're like me, you just want to get a couple of attacks done each day. You don't want to have to attack eight times a day. Just get the star bonus and move on. These strong Legend League bases are a great way to float in Legend League without dropping out. Now, if you have dropped out of Legend League, then you might consider trying Yes, the only base in today's episode not designed by RH Base Building or a professional. It is the use code Galadon Base. Now, if you use this base out in the wild and I find you and I attack it, I am adding even more prizes to the first person that I find with this base. A stone P.E.K.K.A. statue, a free gold pass, a log deco, a Clash of Clans t-shirt, and even more if you are following me on kick.com slash Galadon. So get out there, try these bases, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of today's episode. Visit rhbasebuilding.com, get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and you'll be kind to other people, animals, and the planet, and I hope to 
see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. If you pay me $17, I'll make you a pizza $17 base. Mm-hmm.